find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by y equals x and y equals x square so let's sketch these two curves and we want to rotate the region bounded by these two curves about the line x equals negative 1 okay let me graph so y equals x is just an identity line passing through origin and y equals x is square okay y equals x square and now the region between these two curves is this this is origin and we've seen y equals x and y, x, y equals x square that will be just 1 and this is 1 okay now we want to rotate this about x equals negative 1 so negative 1 is this is positive side so negative 1 is here so our axis of rotation is here okay it's passing through negative 1 so we want to rotate this region about this line okay so our sample slice will be perpendicular to this line that means this is the okay sample slice which with small width will be in terms of y because this is y axis so delta y okay small width delta y that suggests our volume formula will be in terms of y area of the sample cross section in terms of y dy and this slice can be taken anywhere in y direction from 0 to 1 okay this is 1 0 to 1 now we also need to write these curves as a function of y that means x equals some function of y so y equals x is same as x equals y so this is x equals y curve same thing and y equals x square is take a square root both sides we get x equals root y so x equals root y now when we rotate this slice about this line x equals negative 1 then we get a sample cross section which will be a washer let me draw over here so we'll have a washer and this sample cross section is here and this is the line x equals negative 1 now to find the area of this washer because there is a hollow inside washer we need to know the outer radius all the way here to outer curve all the way that's r okay all the way from here to here that's r and we also need the inside here to here that's lowercase r in terms of y okay so look at here this is one so to get to all the way outside from here to y axis this is y axis this distance is always one okay let me use uh, this color this is always one one and to get to the all the way to the outside curve this is x direction and x is given by y so one from the axis of rotation to y axis one and x x is y so one plus y so the outer radius is one plus y one plus y 
now inner again to get to the y-axis that's one and inner curve in our case oh I made a mistake the outer curve is root y this is outer curve so 1 plus root y the inside is now 1 plus this is inner curve which is y 1 plus y okay now we can find the area of this washer the area in terms of y is pi r square minus pi r square this one gives all and this one gives the inside so outside minus inside will be just this area which is pi we can factor pi out from these two terms r is 1 plus root y quantity square minus pi is out r means 1 plus y quantity square we can simplify now so pi 1 plus root y is square multiply 1 plus root y by itself then you get 1 plus 2 root y plus y minus multiply 1 plus y by itself and distribute negative so 1 plus y square is 1 plus 2y but this due to this negative negative 2y plus y squared but this due to this negative negative y squared and 1 and negative 1 cancel so pi 2 root y plus y minus 2y minus y minus y squared okay this is the area of washer which is in our case sample cross section then the volume we are looking for volume is entire derivative of area of washer dy and this cross section okay this cross section can go from 0 to 1 anywhere in between 0 and 1 0 to 1 okay which is 0 to 1 a is pi to root y root y means y raised to one half minus y minus y square in fact you can easily find this definite integral let me do that for you as well pi outside anti derivative of 2 root y 2 is 2 root y y raised to one half this is y raised to one half and when we find the integral y raised to one half plus one three halves divided by 3 halves minus anti derivative of y is y is square over 2 minus y is square y 3 over 3 all using power rule 0 to 1 now pi is outside we want to evaluate this at the upper limit 1 minus evaluate this at the lower limit 0 but 0 mix 0 mix each term 0 so we don't have to worry about lower limit let's plug in 1 this is 2 times 3 halves when we move to the top this becomes 2 thirds 3 halves 2 thirds 2 times 2 thirds 4 thirds times 1 raised to 3 halves 1 raised to 3 halves is just 1 so we don't have to mention minus minus 1 is square so 1 over 2 minus 1 give one third minus lower limit don't have to worry okay let's uh, simplify this pi four thirds minus one third four thirds minus one third is three thirds three thirds is one minus one half minus one half is just one half so pi times one half is pi over two cubic units final